Elise Ajiar should still be here doing what she loved, singing and dancing. But instead, her memory was being marked eight days on from her killing, in a service attended by her friends, family, and a community who are hurting. A rainbow smile is the way I remember our lovely little eyes. The ages of Elise and the other stabbed to death at a dance class last week reflected in so many ways, from the teddies and trinkets to the fact her cousin was here, somehow finding the words to pay tribute to someone she hoped to grow up with. You will be our best friend forever, we promise. You that Alice we miss you so much and it's only me that we, we will never forget you. Southport is a closely knit community that have continued to come together to support the families of the three girls who went to dance and never made it home. The reminders of their innocence here in the town centre are contrast with the images of anger we've seen across the country. For people here, a glimmer of good news from Alder Hay Hospital, who treated some of the injured. In a statement, it said, we are really pleased to be able to share that all the children involved in last Monday's awful incident in Southport who are under our care have now been safely discharged home from Alder Hay. Our heartfelt sympathies remain with all those impacted by last week's tragic events. After the deaths of Elise, Elsie Dot Stancombe and BB King in a place where they should have been safe, this community will continue to mourn. The service ended with a balloon release and a chance for the people of Southport to embrace Elise's loved ones. This family and two others have suffered losses that are unimaginable. Shingi Marike, Sky News, Southport.